Hello there kitties, I'm Kerry, the vacuum chip witch, and today I'm fixing something more modern. Look at that! The hinge is completely gone. It's my queer friend's laptop, the ThinkPad T500. And I've got the replacement hinges right there on my bench. So let's go through the repair to the bench. So I've got the laptop and I've got the box with the new parts. And let's do it. Like Dave Jones always does. <coughs> Pretty nicely packed. This file is gonna come in handy later and we've got the hinges together with the, the display uh, frame and the side elements. So, first things first, it's taking out the battery. And I will probably have to go uh, through with taking out the keyboard and the bezel. So I might as well remove the screws for those parts. This one ain't going, so I will use a regular screwdriver. Got both hinges, so I will replace both hinges even though uh, even if one of them is not damaged. Those things uh, like to have uh, material fatigue. So I'd rather replace it if I can. Gotta be careful not to damage the cable. The laptop itself is not in a good shape. Given the fact that my queer friend doesn't really respect the devices. 
One more screw. Taking out the keyboard. And there's some more screws. There's usually a lot to remove uh, in order to take this part uh, out. This plate is holding this part, so we need to remove it all together. I can take it out. And we've got the hinges. I will remove the, the display uh, completely. I'll disconnect it. And of course disconnect the display. <coughs> Maybe I'll do it with the spudger. And finally the hinges. It is now separated. I 
I'll put it somewhere safe. And commencing further discombobulation. There are screws missing from uh, from this display. <coughs> Look at that. No screws at all. All right, so I will just find the replacements got a bag of replacements and they are probably from from the laptop from this one maybe I worked on that maybe someone else I don't even remember it was so long ago anyway uh, since those screws are completely removed, I can remove the the frame. And as expected, the left hand was also completely discombobulated. So now, it's just a matter of replacing those things. Since those points uh, carry some, uh, some more load, there are bigger screws M2 and a half, something like that. So, replacing the right hinge it's very simple. Even the left one is a lot simpler than I thought. Fortunately, the magnesium uh, insert in uh, in the display lid uh, seems to be okay, but I uh, sometimes had. Uh, cases of uh, of it uh, being just broken but in this case it's just the hinges everything else seems to be good One of those holes is for the screw that goes through for the plastic part and the other holes are, are for the screws that I uh, just uh, need to fit uh, before 
Podin, that it's um, back on. Then the plastic here. It's also a teeny tiny bit damaged. This laptop has definitely seen uh, a lot better days. covers uh, for the holes has some broken latches but it's still gonna work again I'm not going for a uh, perfect restoration I'm only gonna make it functional so time to reattach the display uh, to the laptop Gotta be careful uh, about putting the wires into the proper slots. I'll use a spudger to help myself.
Hey, connecting the display. Then the bezel goes back. Of course I forgot about the speaker. The speaker goes back before the bezel. I've done it so many times, but still mistakes happen. connecting the GSM modem back with the bezel You gotta be careful because it's got a few tongs that have to go into the slots uh, in the magnesium part of uh, the laptop's uh, construction. It's best to check if uh, they are correct uh, at this stage. It's everything is okay. We are go for launch. And then uh, this big metal piece Two of those screws also uh, attach the CPU cooler just so many of them The screws with larger heads go right here.
And of course, all those teeny tiny M2 3 millimeters long screws. Come on. And we connecting the Wi-Fi antenna. One last goes here. Time to reattach the keyboard. And the palm rest. Mm, this also looks pretty bad. Maybe I can straighten it. If only just a little. Not this kind of screw, huh?
All right, so. It's gonna be the moment of truth. The truth is probably that I, uh, I probably had one more part on the, on the cable, but it was missing. Still, gotta reattach the battery. If it's still charged, looks like it's charged. We've got backlight. It's probably got discharged. Let's put it on the power supply. Interesting. Is it gone? Looks like it's trying to start, but it can't. There's something wrong with it. Well, that's a pity. I'll try repairing it off the camera. Maybe I'll share some story with it, but... Not the result I expected. I thought I was gonna fix it, but come and got sir. Still, stay determined and carry on. Until next time.